Hi, this is Jody from Teachtopia TV with a brief tutorial on how to find the mean. Now, there are many ways to describe the mean in mathematical language. Um, the most proper way is to probably refer to it as the arithmetic mean, but you're more commonly simply going to heard here the mean or simply even the average of a set of numbers. But let's go ahead and find the arithmetic mean of a simple set of five numbers. And I will give you the data set right now. Let's go ahead and put down a five, a three, a two, a three, and a two. Now, because we want to make sure we're able to do multiple things ultimately with a set of numbers, we, whenever we're given a set of numbers, we put it in order from least to greatest. Now, for finding the mean, this doesn't really matter, but it's good practice because ultimately we'll also be, have to be able to find the median, mean, excuse me, not median, range, and mode. Of course, we're finding the mean. So the four ultimate things we're looking for, mean, median, mode, and range. Right now, we're finding the mean. So let's go ahead, though, and put them in order from least to greatest. Two, two, three, three, and five. Okay, so here we have every number rewritten, of course, now in order from least to greatest. I'm gonna go ahead and erase the first set on the top, but before I do that, I really wanna make sure that I have the same amount of numbers on my initial set as my second set to make sure that everyone got transferred, and I also wanna do a quick little check to make sure that everyone um, was transferred correctly, at least the greatest, looks good. I'm now gonna erase my first set. And the number that I'm gonna find the mean with is now two, the numbers I'm gonna find the mean with is two, two, three, three, and five. That is our data set. Now, these numbers become add-ins. Um, so basically, we find the sum of all of these numbers. So let's go ahead and do that. Five plus three plus three plus two plus two. Now you might be thinking, I could do that in my head. Uh, you probably could. But if the numbers are larger, it's very important that we don't always rely on what we could do mentally, and sometimes we actually also are required to show our work. So let's go ahead and five plus three is eight, plus three, of course, is 11, plus two, brings us to 13 plus another two, we are at 15. So the sum of these numbers is 15. Now, how many add-ins total were there? One, two, three, four, and five. So you simply take the sum of all the add-ins, which was 15, by the total amount of um, add-ins that we had um, in our data set, which is one, two, three, four, and five. 15 divided by five, and our quotient is three. Okay, let's review what we just did. We saw we had a data set of five numbers. We found the sum, which was 15. We simply divide that sum by the total number of numbers in our data sets. In this case, the five add-ins um, are each represented here. 15 divided by five is three. Our arithmetic average is three. And that is a quick tutorial on how to find the mean. This was Jody from Teachtopia TV with a quick little tutorial on arithmetic mean.